Along the central Gulf Coast of Florida, the city of Tarpon Springs beckons visitors with the history of a unique industry, as well as an abundance of cultural, natural, and entertainment points of interest. We travel to the area with our Nissan Xterra for a look around at some of what this popular tourism area has to offer. Sometimes called the Venice of the South, Tarpon Springs is laced with bayous and waterways along the Anclote River and is a haven for a wide variety of marine life, including dolphins and manatee, as well as many species of birds. Tarpon Springs is regarded as the sponge capital of the world, and the longtime industry is a prominent part of the waterfront activity and an important contributor to the city's development. Sponge divers from Greece began arriving in the area to harvest the natural sponges around the turn of the 20th century, bringing with them know-how and experience with early diving suits to move the industry into high gear. Sponges are invertebrate animals which cling to surfaces under the water and regenerate themselves after the proper techniques are used to gather them. All along the docks you'll find the freshly collected sponges drying and displayed today as they have been for years. This scenic area has been the backdrop for several movies over the years including 1953's Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef, which told the story of a rivalry between Tarpon Springs divers and Key West spongers. The Greek migration brought on by the sponge industry continues today, evidenced by the large number of restaurants and shops bringing a taste of Greek culture to the city. In fact, the city has the highest percentage of residents of Greek heritage than any other city in the United States, and a variety of events and festivals revolve around that ancestry. A long-standing ritual in Tarpon Springs for young men of Greek descent for the Epiphany every January 6th has been diving for a cross thrown into the spring bayou by a priest after a blessing and procession from the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral. That ornate cathedral, by the way, has among its features some 60 tons of marble that was originally part of the Greek pavilion at the 1939 World's Fair in New York. Tarpon Springs is named for the abundance of the giant fish that splash through the bayous around town and along the Anclote River. While the area has been inhabited for more than 5,000 years, the first modern settlement dates from 1876 and the arrival from South Carolina of A.W. Ormond and his daughter Mary. They built a cabin near Spring Bayou and in 1879 after she married Joshua Boyer, Mary proposed that the now two-cabin settlement be named for the Tarpon. The town really got moving after a huge real estate investment and city planning by Hamilton Diston in 1881. He also operated the steamship Mary Diston, nicknamed the Dirty Mary, which brought people to town on the two-day journey from Tampa about 30 miles away. With the arrival of the Orange Belt Railroad in 1887, the previously difficult, time-consuming journey was made much easier and therefore much more popular, and the town began to flourish. Anson Safford, a former governor of the Arizona Territory, an investor in Distance Enterprises and the president of his real estate development company is regarded as the true founder of Tarpon Springs. His is among the many historic homes that trace the city's history. In 1890, Hamilton Distant backed John Cheney in the formation of the Anklot and Rock Island Sponge Company 
thereby starting the modern sponge industry in the area. All around Tarpon Springs, you'll find historic buildings and homes, many of which are on the National Register of Historic Places. With water being such a prominent part of the area's life, activities like fishing and boating are high on everyone's recreation list. You can also sample a variety of Greek foods, browse unique gift shops, learn about the sponge industry, observe marine life at the aquarium, enjoy a variety of music and festivals along the waterfront, hike nature trails, or, like a sponge, just soak up the history and scenery that this portion of Florida has to offer. In short, this resort area is chock full of things to enjoy. Our Nissan Xterra was a comfortable, enjoyable travel companion while we toured the area. There weren't any tough roads to challenge its off-road capabilities, but one of our favorite things about the Xterra is that it feels at home in all types of driving, and that's exactly what it was on this trip.